Okay, I made a discovery, and that is I forgot to press record. So I'm just going to go back over what I covered, and then we will pick up from there. I did the first one, the estimation, to show you that first I did the actual 6 times 8 is 48. And that the two numbers that follow the decimal point, so therefore, two numbers must follow the decimal point in our product, and that will be our answer. When we estimate, our estimation was, if this is round to the whole place, would be one, this would be one, one times one is one, okay? Now, the even numbers, we follow through uh, by multiplying nine times three, if it's 27, because they gave us a 7, and then 9 times 0 is 0 plus 2, we have a 27 here. From there, we discovered that when necessary, when we count the digits that follow the decimal point, if we do not have enough places, we would add zeros so that we would have the equivalent amount of places to follow the decimal point. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, on number four, we have the value of A, the value of B, the value of C. So that A times B, A is 4.8, B is 15,000. So we multiply 4.8 times 15,000, and we discovered five times 48 is 240 then we move over one place one times 48 is 48 we add and we have uh, a value of 72 in this case 720 rather uh, ten thousands so we needed to add a zero in order to have enough digits to follow the decimal point so one two three four one, two, three, four, decimal point, zero in the ones place. Here we discovered that once we multiply five and 48 hundredths times A, once we got that answer, then we took that answer and subtracted one and 57 hundredths. And we uh, recognized that we must line up our decimal point in order to uh, numbers to be aligned so that we have the proper place value for subtracting when we are subtracting decimal points. All right, from there, we are asked to convert our fractions, our mixed numbers to decimals, and then multiply. Well, we know that we can uh, take 17 divided by 25 to get our decimal, or because 25 uh, times 4 is 100, then we can multiply the numerator and the denominator by 4, and therefore we know that this would be 68 hundredths, okay? And that would be our decimal for this uh, particular value. And that's wherein I discovered that I was not recording, so I'm going to continue. Here we're going to do uh, 5 divided by 16 to discover what this decimal value would be. So we have 5 divided by 16 decimal point here and so we ask ourselves how many 16s are in 50 and so we do a guess and we're going to guess 3 3 times 16 3 times 6 is going to give us an 8 1 3 times 1 is 3 plus 1 is 4 we subtract and we're going to get a two, uh, 10 Get a 2, 0, bring it down. How many 16s are in 20? 1. 16 minus 20 would give us a 4. We're going to add a 0. How many 16s are in 40? Well, we know 3 it gives us 48, so we're going to go with a 2. 2 would give us a 32. We're going to start at 40. 32. And we subtract, this is 10, it's 3, 10 minus 2, give us an 8. If we add another 0, then we ask our question, how many 16s are 
are in 80 and we discover that they are five. Five times six is zero. It's three and five times one is five plus three is eight. Our problem is over. So then this is times three, one, two, five, okay? All right, so in this workspace over here, we're gonna put those digits and multiply. We discover this is 40, that's 16 plus four is 20, that's eight plus two is 10, that's 24 plus one is 25. And we move over, six times five is 30. That's 12 plus three is 15. That's six plus one is seven. That's 18 plus one, see if it was seven, and then six times three is 18. Zero, zero, five, 12, 10, 11, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and that is our answer, okay? Let's move on to number 10. You earn $7.80 an hour working as a dog sitter. You work 20, you work 12 and 5 tenths hours during the week, how much money do you make? So if you have $12, 12 and five tenths hours, and you work $7.80 an hour, you multiply, and therefore you have zero here. So let's start here. That's 40, 16 plus four is 20. 8 plus 2 is 10. Now, let's move from here. That was the 1's place. Here was the 10's place. Now let's go here. 7 times 5 is 35. 7 times 2 is 14 plus 3 is 17. And 7 times 1 is 7 plus 1 is 8. And we add... How many numbers are behind the decimal point? One, two, three, one, two, three. And we discover that we have $97.50. See you in the morning.